Hi guys! Welcome to my channel and if you've been following my channel or if you have been a follower of my channel I'm so sorry I haven't really had much time to update this channel um, you know in the past year I've had a baby and I still have my teenager so it's been a crazy busy busy time for me and so I really really haven't had much time and you know whatever time that I have I've been pretty lazy and it's just you know have made it like my downtime um, but thanks for tuning in um, this vlog is mainly a kind of like a life update and mainly it's for me to document how I'm feeling at this stage of my life and what's happening in my life so we are moving out of this house as you can see there's so many boxes there's Caleb sitting over there supposed to be eating but he's not and he's just watching Sesame Street so um, yeah so we're moving out the house is in a really messy messy state and um, yeah so that's like a mini kind of tour of the house I will give um, an empty house tour once everything is moved out so uh, yeah so we're moving out of this house that we've lived in for the last five years and from here we're gonna go to a rental place because our new house isn't ready yet we need to renovate it so I'm gonna also try and document that which will be a really fun process to watch and yeah so it's been really really tough I've been trying to pack every single day actually ever since we sold this house I've been packing for like uh, basically every day only like maybe a couple of boxes a day because I can only do it when Caleb's sleeping and um, it's tough he doesn't even sleep that long so um, what else yeah so I'm really excited I'm really excited to be moving into our rental house um, hopefully everything works out and with the move everything moves out and um, yeah I will bring you along in this process so why are we moving? We are moving because our family has expanded and um, we need a bigger space. Okay, so this house that we're living in right now is called an executive condominium. Um, when we first bought it, it was an executive condominium, which means it's half private and half public. Um, if you are Singaporean or live in Singapore, you'll be familiar with these terms. But if you're not living in Singapore, it's a little bit hard to explain. Um, because Singapore has a very unique government um, housing system so now this house is um, five years later it has become privatized and we are allowed to sell it okay so in Singapore there's a unique system whereby um, you have to live in a house that you purchase if it's under a house government housing scheme you have to live in it for five years before you can sell it so we've lived in here for five years um, I don't know maybe just after five years we're kind of just tired of it as well so we're we're really looking forward to explore a new area so um, yeah the journey hasn't been easy it's taken um, it was quite a rush because of COVID as well that when we went to view houses it was just really tough people, um, the new rules came in where you can only go in like two people at a time and um, yeah so we were worried that we would be like homeless or we'd have to rent for a long time anyway so we eventually found a house Caleb. Caleb's making a lot of noise okay so yeah um, when we when I went to look for housing and the prices were also really 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 crazy high demand is really there I guess when people are all working from home um, a lot of people were like Oh, our house is too small now we're gonna sell buy a bigger house so the demand for housing at this point is really crazy and it's really driven up the pricing so um, we were lucky to get a house um, within our price range yeah so um, hmm. yeah so um, the next thing to do after we move will be to renovate the house and then after that we can move in. Okay, so we're on our way to our rental place. Look at my eye bags. This is from sleeping at, I don't know, I think 3 every morning. 
because I've been busy packing. Yeah. So today we're going to the rental place to get the keys and to drop off all our things on top you see. And we still got more in front and that's not all. Uh, this is going to be the first time that I have ever stayed in a rental. You know what? I think it is. It's my first time staying in a rental. But for hubby, it's not the first time. But it's pretty exciting. So um, yeah, even though it's a rental, I think some new environment is a nice change, especially during this COVID time. Um, just to get a breather and just a new surrounding. So we're pretty excited. Right, Caleb? Are you excited? <laughs> oh, we'll update you later. So it is currently 3 a.m. and I haven't gone to sleep yet. I'm really exhausted. We had been busy doing last minute packing and, and I'm so, so tired. So um, yeah, let me show you what our pile of junk looks like. So yeah, I had started packing like at least a month ago and I can't believe I'm back down to this last day, last minute packing until 3 a.m. Um, I feel a little giddy because I'm so tired. Yeah, so I don't recommend it. Um, mm, the hubby is complaining that there's too much stuff. But it's not that too much stuff. It just looks like a lot of stuff because our house is so small. So, um, yeah, now we have, you know, four people. Last time when we moved in, we had three and... Kaylin was a lot smaller now she's a lot older and she has a lot more stuff and books and school stuff you know can't even talk properly so let me just show you all our stuff and then um and then I will continue when the movies come tomorrow so here's the kitchen packed it all up okay and <laughs> We're supposed to be able to see out into the balcony, but we can't. And I don't even know how this happened. Okay. We accidentally ripped Caleb Kenan's schoolwork, so, so we're trying to tape it together. And then all our stuff goes all the way behind. So, yeah. All this is gonna go into storage, including the beds. This is the view from the other side. So yesterday I was feeling kind of um, a bit emo because, you know, um, I mean, I don't feel like I have an attachment to this house but I feel like it was the first house that I had a lot of like friends over and um, that I entertained and um, yeah there was a lot of memories made here a lot of good memories a lot of bad memories and a lot of ugly memories whatever memories you know and yeah, I'm in the bathroom because I wanted to kind of be alone. Um, yeah, so um, I think I'm just too tired to really feel anything, but I don't think I'll cry when we move out. But I'm looking forward to get rid of all this mess and get back to some kind of sense of normalcy and some day where I can actually rest now. I don't think I'm making any sense. I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll vlog again tomorrow. Bye. So I was saying that I don't have an emotional attachment to the house, but you know what? I can actually still remember the day that I received the phone call saying that my dad had died. And this is also the house that we bought Bella home to, we bought Caleb home to. So there is a lot of memories and we've had a lot of barbecues, we had people over, um, made friends, lost friends. So 
Yeah, we've had a lot of um, interesting memories. Uh, this is also the house that we spent the most time in because of COVID. Does that make sense? This was the house that we were cooped up in during COVID. So that's also something to remember. Um, this is also the first condominium that we've ever stayed in in our life. I mean, or that we've ever owned. Um, yeah. So, um, bittersweet memories. Hmm. Okay, it's moving day. Okay. It's moving day. Moving day. So, Hey Caleb, the movers have just arrived. So, we're gonna move all our things finally. Okay, so we're within about an hour or less than an hour. They've cleared up pretty much almost everything in the house. Oh, we still have so much to get rid of. How did this happen? How do we have so much stuff? Wrapping the piano. Bye bye piano. Bella. 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 Bella's on the balcony. So she can be out of the way. She's not happy. Caleb is enjoying all the space that we have now after we've moved everything out. So this is my master bedroom. I should hope to be able to get a proper video of everything. A proper house tour once everything is moved out. There is still a lot of stuff. Oh. Still not done. Oh, but um, getting there, we are getting there. Almost, almost done. If you're wondering how was the move this morning, it went pretty all right. There was only two things that happened. Um, no, actually one thing. They um, took away Bella's. What do you want to say, baby? Hi. 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 So they took away Bella's stuff that um, that I had put in a box. I don't know what happened. I think we didn't label it properly. So um, her food, her pee pad, all got taken away, and we had to go buy new. Food, but luckily we had pee pad. Yes, Kayla, what happened to your face? It's a bit dirty. Yes. Okay, everything. Okay, so everything is pretty much packed. There's still a lot of stuff behind me, as you can see. Um, it's currently about 4 30, 4 45 in the afternoon. Pretty sure everything will get packed up. Um, pretty fast. I'm currently here by myself because Kaylin is at the rental place because she has studying to do and um, hubby is dropping off a bunch of stuff at the in-laws house. So my house is so bright now. It's so great for filming. Yeah, so here I am at my, my old bedroom with this um, wallpaper. I don't know why I chose this, but yeah. So I'm standing on the platform there. That's why I look pretty tall. So I can go down now. Yeah. And um, since our TV is gone and the only way I can entertain him is by putting the iPad on top of the, the, the bed. It's been super, super tiring. And because we're all tired, we're all really grumpy at each other and a bit snappy. Um, let me move away from Sesame Street. Yeah, so I'm, um, I'm starting to feel a little bit emotional because um, I guess I haven't really had time to think about 
you know, or process my feelings because it's just been hectic and really, really, really busy. Um, maybe it'll hit me like, well, we're handing over the house on Monday, so I'm sure it'll hit me then. So um, yeah, let me give you a house tour in a little while. So this is the last time we're coming back into the house. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. So this is like a mini, a tour, not a mini tour. This is a house tour. So, Caleb, what you got there? Okay. So this is the last time we're gonna be standing on our balcony. And I'll show you the balcony first. Okay, so this is our balcony that we hardly actually use because it's rather dirty and and it's hot, so we hardly used it. And that was our gorgeous view down there, which I'm pretty gonna miss too. But they're gonna develop something over there, so there's gonna be high rise and it's gonna block our view. Hey, hey, hey! Don't eat that. Don't take that. Oh, Mama, we'll bring that. Okay, come on. Okay, so going in the house, going out, this is our, that was, that was the main door over there. And this is our living room. So we still got some things left over to bring. That's the kitchen over there. And so this is basically our living room space as well as our dining room space. So you can see that it's pretty tiny. And we have this mirror and my Swarovski um, pendant lights or whatever you call it. Hanging lights. And there's the swimming pool below. Caleb is enjoying his last moments here. Yeah. Um, I know I look really messy because I didn't sleep well last night. I think I was just a bit anxious about today. We're giving them the keys to our house no more our house because we sold it so um it's also i don't really feel emotional anymore because i think i've had all my emotions come out the other day and um yeah i don't think they will keep a lot of the stuff here i'm pretty sure they're gonna renovate because that's what most people in singapore do when they get a new house they'll just come and renovate and you know put in whatever they want i will really miss this view here though that's it Bye bye house and I hope you bring joy to the new owners. But it was really time to let you go and bye. Last look of our house. This is my Swarovski, my Swarovski light, which we hardly actually used. So, okay, so coming down, this is the kitchen. Can't turn on the electricity now because they've turned it off already. So this used to be where our fridge is, or was. This used to be where our fridge was. And as you can see, it's really small. It's only like, can only fit like one, two people maybe at the same time. So going in, this was the service yard. This is where our washing machine was. And we have a rubbish chute inside the house. To me, it's convenient, but other people hate it because of the smells and whatever. Okay, oh, sorry to show the floor. This was a storeroom for us. So we actually had another fridge in here. And there's also a bathroom here. Sorry that it's super dark. Okay, so going back out. Going back out. Okay. Oops. Okay, it's the cabinets. All these are inbuilt, so when we moved in, they were empty and then we built them. And that's our balcony. The balcony has, the balcony has four sliding doors. And down here has a really, really good view, which I'm really going to miss. Um, I really miss the space, actually. It has never looked like this, obviously, when we're living here. So that's me. We're waiting for the buyers to come so that we can hand over the keys to them. We're walking to the corridor. This is the bathroom. This is the main bathroom, or they call it common bathroom. Shower. The bathroom has a very big entrance because um, it's to accommodate, I think, 
wheelchair people, like um, disa the disabled, and it's um, part of the regulations for new homes. This is the DB cupboard. Okay, this is bedroom number one. It's pretty plain and it's pretty small. So you can see there, and you can see the balcony here too, and the cabinets. And the swimming pool. Oh, there's a doggy. Doggy. Okay. That's another beautiful view. So nice. Okay. Oh, look. I see there's people also moving out. There's people down there also moving out. There. Ah. A lot of people moving out because our place has reached five years, so we can sell it already. This is Kaylin's room. We built up a loft bed. Loft bed, so her bed was a super single bed and it was all the way up here. So, yeah. It's very nice and comfortable actually. So she had her study table and stuff down here. And this is my bedroom. Here's the bathroom. It's um, not very, very small, but it's pretty tight as well. Yeah. And this is my bedroom. So I had this jewelry cupboard and a built in study table and a platform bed with um, this drawers underneath these. These. And my TV. Um, feature wall and my wallpaper which features dandelions I think actually I'm not quite sure are they hydrangeas could be hydrangeas I'm not really sure and that's our headboard and we have a ceiling fan and my view from the room is also pretty pretty nice you can see the swimming pool each of the bedrooms can see the swimming pool as well as the one opposite Yeah, but we hardly actually open the windows because it's a bit hot. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, there's a long corridor here, as you can see. See there? It's really, um, really a waste of space. I mean, it's nice to have the separation of room and all, but I feel that it's a little bit wasted. We couldn't, you know, it's not much of a living area. So, that's my Swarovski light as well which we hardly turned on all the electricity has been turned off so we can't wash our hands we can't we've got toilet and everything yeah <laughs> an echo okay. all done finally bye house okay goodbye house bye house Thank you for housing us all these years. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for being good to us. Be good to the next owners. <laughs>